Hello, in this video we'll talk about the new features we have in Soundbridge version 2.5.0. And the first one are the new comment lanes. You can activate the new comment lanes by clicking this button on the master track. As you can see, all the tracks have their comment lanes expanded. You can even see comments on some of the lanes. If I click that button again, you will see that only the tracks with any existing comments remain visible. To draw a new comment, just use the draw tool. And selecting and deleting a comment is just as easy as with any other element in the sequencer. If you wanted to edit the comment, you can double click it and a dialog will open in which you can edit its title and text. By clicking the edit button, these fields become editable. Now I can edit the title, I can edit the text of the comment, just like this, and commit the changes by clicking save. You can open as many of these dialogues at the same time as you wish. And none of this is actually the best thing about these comments. Each one of them is a fully fledged teleprompter. You can turn it into one by engaging this button in the lower left corner. If you click it once, it turns red signifying that it's armed and it will start auto scrolling once we engage playback. To make this feature even greater, you can change the size of each of these windows. Along with that, you can change the size of the font and you can change the speed of the auto scroll. Now, while it's scrolling, I can still edit any of the text or the title like that and I can commit the changes while it's scrolling. Now, click that button one more time, turns blue and starts scrolling immediately regardless of the playback status. We also made sure that any of the settings you made in a comment remain saved. And even that is not the end of it. If you wanted to see the contents of a comment, you can just hover your mouse over it and you will see a tooltip which will display the contents of that comment. Right clicking it will allow you to change its title and the color of the comment. To hide all the comment lanes, just click the button on the master track one more time. Alongside the new comment lanes, we have enhanced our position markers features. Right clicking an existing position marker used to delete it, but now it will rather open marker settings in which you can add a name to your marker, giving it more context with some additional text, alongside with custom color. To delete an existing marker, just right click it while holding control on Windows or Command on a Mac. Tempo and time signature blocks had some changes too. Changing the BPM value of a tempo block used to change its color, but now you can right click it and get the tempo settings dialog where you can actually change the color to a custom one. Same goes for the time signature blocks. Multi selecting blocks and right clicking any of them will allow you to change all of the blocks color and the title if you wish to do so. We know that this is going to speed up your workflow. Enjoy using SoundBridge.